Hey guys, what's up? It's Joe here today and I want to talk to you about a little internet change in my uh, cash room. I had an issue with my internet service provider. If you guys remember from about a few years ago, I made a video on my internet setup for making money and I said if you have cable and if you have a provider that allows you to have two modems, I recommend you do that. You guys may see where this is going now. Uh, but basically, I thought my provider let us, the users, have two modems. However, the real policy the whole time was one modem per account and you're only supposed to have one account per residence and it's funny because i had two ip addresses this whole time and there was only one account being paid for so very odd situation but ultimately it has ended for me and i had to go with this solution recently i actually had that second modem in my cash room deactivated the other modem in this residence is located in the general office area located down a story so it wasn't optimal for me to be using just one modem throughout the entire residence because it's kind of far from all this money making stuff. And basically what I had to do was come up with a solution in order to get some kind of internet source up here while being able to actually keep the modem that we have had in this residence in the general office area because there was no question I wasn't getting the modem all to myself in this residence. So. My solution for that was checking out a power line, and this is a really cool technology. I was very skeptical at first if this was going to work, uh, because, well, it actually takes an internet signal and sends it through the electric lines in your house. So as you can see, you get two per box, and the one plugs in where the modem or router is. In my case, it's in the general office area located a few stories below. And then the other power line goes to where you want the signal. And I was really surprised at the results. I got pretty much the same speeds. I had about 10 milliseconds more of latency. Still a very consistent connection though. So that's my solution for not being able to have two modems. And if you do decide to use Powerline, you can either plug directly in from your source a modem or a router. If you decide to plug in a modem, there has to be a router at the receiving end. You can't just plug an access point in. If, however, you go from a modem to a router and then to the power line, you can send the internet signal to another power line just through an access point. So that's ultimately, as you can see, what I decided to do because my PFSense router is no longer here. I posted this on social media the other day saying that, hey, the PFSense router is leaving. I'm not getting rid of it. It's just has to go leave my cash room and go down to the general office area uh, so I'll, I'll update photos on my routine page so you can check out more wireframe images of how my network setup is looking with this new change the router is moved and now we just have access points up here powering all my cash stuff as well as a switch uh, to that's not ubiquity yet, but I want to get a ubiquity switch. So if you have any questions about this or you want a more general overview, check out thetextlogs.com slash routine. You will be able to see the new wireframe images by the time this video is up. Now this could be useful to you because I know some people told me that, hey, my cable provider is very strict on this. You can only have one modem per account and they didn't let you loophole it like I did for a few years now. Uh, so this may be a solution for you. Or if you have something else like Fios, I don't know. This, this is just a very cool technology. And of course it may depend on the wiring quality in your house. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys later with more money making videos. Thank you for watching this video meant to help you make more money with smartphones and computers. The link above me is a link to my website with the Getting Started series and a cash archive section where you can sort through hundreds of smartphone apps that make you money. Any more specific questions can be directed to me at my contact page or on any of the communities listed this way.